We're sorry. That's the message from the team that captured a massive, nearly 100-year-old thousand-pound alligator in the Lowcountry earlier this week. The folks at Critter Management say they've learned from the experience. Tuesday, this 80 to 100 year old alligator was captured at legendary golf course on Hilton Head. It was eventually killed because of its size. South Carolina DNR officials say the gator was killed because relocation would not have been effective. Its death upset many on social media, but this video sparked even more outrage. Footage shows adults and children sitting on the thousand pound gator and posing for pictures while the animal was hogtied. Tonight, critter management is apologizing for how it all unfolded. We're sorry that the public took this the way it is. We had no intentions of making it a fiasco. We had no intentions of making it look inhumane. We're the most humane people we don't exploit anything. 19-year-old Joey Maffo, field supervisor for critter management and grandson of Joe Maffo, says he takes full responsibility. If anybody should face re legal re repercussions, it should be me. Because I was the person that said, if you guys want to take pictures, you can sit on it. So, no, that was, they were just doing what tourists do. The teenager says his intentions were to educate people about alligators, but things got out of hand fast. I never really meant to harass the gator or anything. I just, all I wanted was to give the people an understanding of how big and powerful these animals really are and how that if you go in their territory, you're most likely going to get hurt. It was strictly to be an educational arrangement, and we just lost control. When you get seven, 800 tourists, you know, it, it's hard to control them. Now, the family says it's received several death threats over the viral video. I'm just worried about losing my family's company and having all of us go downhill, lose our house maybe after this or possibly even jail time. And I just I don't really know how to feel about all this. Critter management says it's learned a big lesson from this incident and will make changes to how it operates moving forward. We reached out to the town of Hilton Head Island for comment. The town manager said, in part, we strongly condemn the manner in which this animal was treated and the outrageous actions the critter management staff allowed to occur. As a town, we advocate for the protection of wildlife and the natural resources of the environment we live in. It is unfortunate that people at the scene chose to make a spectacle of this situation and behave in a manner completely contrary to the core values and beliefs we as island residents hold dear.